Welcome to Sparta Arena, crown jewel of the Castleton men's ice hockey team here in Rutland, Vermont. And enjoying some beautiful Vermont weather right now, but we come on ahead inside and you can see uh, where all the magic happens. We were basically looking at an arena that was brand new seven years ago. In the last couple years, the Spartans have taken over full operation and possession of the arena. And as a result, you can see we've made some very nice additions just in sprucing up the place, including some awards and merchandise and items that are for sale here in the lobby. In the lobby here, we also have a room for our Blue Line Club, as well as we've started documenting the history of the program. We're heading into our 10th year next year, and uh, we're expecting to have uh, some interesting festivities prepared for next season. Now we're going to uh, head upstairs to the brand new fitness center here at the arena. Uh, this upstairs area was undeveloped until this year. Uh, our head strength and conditioning coach, Al Jean, uh, designed it very specific to hockey. It's open to other community members. However, when you get upstairs, you will see uh, just how hockey specific it is and how we're able to utilize it and create a lot of excitement before the season by getting all of our athletes in the best shape. At Castleton, we're highly committed to training to prevent injury as well as to increase performance. And this fitness center, along with two other fitness centers on campus, are a true testament to how we're able to do it with every player every year. Here in the fitness center, We've got uh, cardio equipment on both walls, as well as four squat racks uh, and numerous uh, free weights, dumbbells, as well as machines along the far wall. Again, everything here brand new this year. This is our first year using it. It's gone very well, but we expect that we can even utilize it more, uh, more efficiently next season. Here we kind of got the leg corner, the different hip slides, leg machines. In here we've got uh, some spin bikes, stretching room, as well as some uh, Swiss balls, med balls, cool down, warm up area if you need it. Head out this door, we've got some uh, spin bikes outdoors, overlooking the ice for players who may not be able to skate. And standing here, you get a good view of the arena. Uh, seating is uh, pretty full. We've got a student section here, our reserve section in the middle for the booster clubs and the friends and family, and then the far section is open to the people who walk in. On average, uh, we'll sell out a couple games every year, but do a very good uh, crowd consistently for all of our home games. It's a smaller arena, but creates a great atmosphere, and part of that atmosphere is created by our pet band, where they set up shop right behind the opposing team's goalie. We head into here, we've got some VIP seating uh, for some of the people who like to watch the game but don't like the cold. It's a nice warm area with speakers so they can actually hear the ice outside. In here is our media center. Our games are broadcast online. We also stream our games on local radio. As we continue through the media center, we get to another reserve seating area. This area is directly behind our bench and back into the fitness center. So we finished the upstairs with the media center and the fitness center. We're now going to head downstairs to check out the locker room. We're entering now into the hallway to the Castle and Spartans varsity locker room for the men's hockey team. First thing that we have here is our workstation. We've got a glove drying rack, uh, as well as place to do all of your sticks. And you can see we've kind of decorated it with some old hockey sticks, give it a good feel. 
In here we've got our laundry room. One of the things that we believe at Castleton is if we're going to have this arena off campus, we really like to be self-contained, meaning as soon as the season starts, we want everyone to have their workout gear down here, their underwear for practice, as well as all their jerseys. We've got the laundry and we're able to basically set up shop down here for the entire day without having to go anywhere else to get something done. Uh, you can show up with just your clothes from school and everything else you need will be here waiting for you clean, dried, and ready to go. We're now going to head into the locker room. A couple of things as you walk in, you'll notice there are some uh, different awards recognizing some of the past uh, winners that we've had for some of our postseason awards. We've also got our team goal board. We we'll talk about the goals uh, a lot here about what we want to accomplish, as well as the sticks. When we initially walk in, we try to keep the sticks out of the locker room. It keeps things a little bit cleaner and it prevents from uh, nicking up the stalls. On this board here, we present a lot of the uh, statistics that we do. Specifically, we look at um, hard-working stats such as shot blocks, puck possession, face-offs, uh, plus-minus, things like that that aren't always readily available online. We got our ECAC standings here. And then inside the locker room, you'll see that uh, we've done a couple of things. We've added some flat screen TVs to allow us to do video. We have 28 stalls in this locker room. Uh, we don't always fill them, but we do have the ability to have 28 players. Uh, we've also started documenting the history of the program up here on this wall. Uh, our trip to Germany a few years ago, all the team photos, our players that are playing professionally, uh, as well as some of the different promotional items we've had and some of our past media guides. All of them represent uh, the growth of this program. Something we're very proud of is our past and uh, we look forward to our future, but we know it's not possible without uh, some of the players that have been here uh, right away since the beginning. That clock is connected to the scoreboard, so we always know how much time we have before we go on the ice. Down here we've got the shower and toilet facilities. And then here we have our changing room and a little bit of a lounge space too. Uh, yeah, we've got another flat screen TV in here. We can do some small group video. We can do small group work in here. Uh, we've got a couch and some chairs, some places to relax. Uh, we've also got our cubbies for our, for our players, again, so they can have their shoes and their training stuff available uh, as soon as they walk in. That concludes our tour of the Spartan Arena and the Castle of Men hockey facility here in Rutland, Vermont. It's a work in progress, but definitely a work that's going in the right direction. I want to thank you for taking time to watch this video, and uh, we hope that if uh, we sent it to you, that uh, you'll get back in touch with us.